So, how's it going guys? Shady here, back with another video, and today I'm gonna show you the combos to play around Nibiru with uh, Unchained. So, um, with the new um, alt, um, changes to the deck, um, you can still play with the same hands, mostly through Nibiru. Um, the problem is always gonna be grind game and uh, imperm. Now it's way more less likely that you can play around imperm. Especially because uh, Shervar is now at 1 and most times you just need to get her to the graveyard for your play. So um, you don't really uh, get to have uh, Shervar in your hand to chain block most times. Uh, so <laughs> it, it's really, really, really uh, not that great um, for the deck uh, right now. Uh, Imperm and Valor hurt the deck. Uh, much more than cards like Nibiru or something, but uh, let's uh, showcase how do you play against Nibiru. So, um, we're gonna need two cards uh, for this part of the combo, uh, always, to play around Nibiru. Uh, so either we have the full combo of a Rua plus Trap, or you need Third Guide plus a Trap. Um, it can't be uh, any normal spell, it specifically has to be uh, Unchained Trap, okay? So, um, let's get into it. So, uh, let's start the normal combo. You just go, get the Shervara, Yama, get Sarama, get the Trap. And then here, Sarama, uh, Sarama uh, pops a Rua and gets Shyama. And this is um, when you, your opponent can Nibiru you on Yama, Sarama and Shyama. And so here we're gonna get Nibiru and we're gonna pop the trap with Shyama and banish Yama, special summoning Sarama and special summoning uh, Rakia. Uh, not Rakia, sorry, an another Shyama. Um, because I like to special summon Shyama for the deck because the other one is gonna return back to the deck. So at least we always have one Shyama in circulation and so we have better chances of uh, follow up because now next turn uh, when you um, if you draw into a trap trap by itself is going to be full combo because you have Shyam in the graveyard so now you have uh, rage and you can make the link three and you link with your opponent's nibiru for uh, mccracker get back and make griffin this way and this is if your opponent uh, interrupts you at the start and interrupting at the start is going to be the best way because if somehow they let us activate Sarama uh, not activate Sarama, sorry, to make rage um, before inhibiting us uh, your end board is going to be better than this because now uh, if you already have rage in the grave you don't need to make rage, you can make Yama and Yama makes a link tree and so now you have Rage, Yama, and the Link Tree in your graveyard. So uh, the more time your opponent waits to reveal you when he gets to this, uh, the worse he is for him. So uh, right here, right here, uh, on the um, on the summon of Shyama is going to be the best way, uh, really, to just uh, reveal. Let's restart the game state what it was, turn cards to the extra deck, and get Yama back on the field. So now from here, we're gonna pop Sarama, get the second Shyama, link off into Rage, and we can go Shyama, pop Rage, and Rage gets Shervara. And right here, if your opponent Nibiru is right here, um, it's the first time where the combo will be different, because up until then, if your opponent in any of these steps Nibiru you, you will always have um, the board, you know? You will always have this board right here uh, that I showed uh, before. Uh, so this is the first time where the combo changes. So now uh, you are going to make teaser. So your opponent is forced to Nibiru here. So uh, we get the Nibiru. Now you go Shervara, pop the trap and banish Yama. And Yama gets... Shayama, and then you get like Rakia or something from the deck. And now you use two unchains uh, to make Yama. And now you can use uh, Yama and the token, make the link three. 
go into my tracker and do the exact same thing I was talking about. And so now uh, we have Griffin and Griffin set the trap because uh, we open, we already had rage. We did not need it to go into rage. So we got Yama. So we have the same board, except now it's stronger because if your opponent kills our Nibiru and he pops a card, we can just banish Yama and get Griffin back on the board. So uh, that's really, really good. And this is how you uh, play around Nibiru with um, uh, with the, the, the unchained pure combo. So now we get Turguide plus any trap. Okay, so uh, Turguide plus trap. Uh, this is uh, the Turguide lines are going to be a better end boards. Uh, you're just going to end with an additional trap on the field always uh, because it's it's just the Turguide lines are just way better. Uh, it, it just is what it is. Uh, if you want to do the same Turguide lines, uh, you're going to need a third card uh, in your combos uh, as an unchained um, as the, on the pure version. You're going to need. Uh, full combo plus trap uh, always uh, to, to do these boards that the tour guide boards do. So tour guide plus trap is always going to be the best way to play around the bureau. Uh, but you can still play around the bureau with just uh, a Ruan trap, for example. So you get a tour guide, Rhino. You get Yama. Send Sharvara the Rua and set the other trap. Pop. Shayama, then you get Nibiru right here. What you do is you set the trap, special summon, special summon from the deck, revive Rua, get the Rama, set the trap, pop, get the second Shayama for um, uh, just to play. Sorry, just so um, you get to. <coughs> oh, sorry. Um... <laughs> You just so you can get Shaman in rotation since the other one is going to go back to the deck. Link 3, link with Nibiru, and it's going to be always the same thing. The difference in this board is only going to be that now you have both traps, but you still have no Yama. But it's going to be exactly the same as the other, uh, as the, um, the other combo. As long as you have uh, made already Rage, you, the, your opponent's Nibiru is going to be even worse because now you're just going to this line, blah, 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 uh, uh, and um, since now you have Yama and Rage, this is always going to be a worse point um, to Nibiru. The only reason why Nibiru at the end when you get both level 6s might be good is if you start with Sharvara. Because if you start with Sharvara and then you add Sharvara off of Rage and you have no extenders in your hand, your opponent Nibiru you right here, you just pass, you set the two traps and pass, because uh, you just can't activate Sharvara, so you have no extension. So when you start these combos with Sharvara, it might make sense to Nibiru right here. Uh, and if you're afraid of Nibiru right here, you, you just add a Rua right here. But then if your opponent doesn't have Nibiru, it's way worse because now you lose the Sharvara quick effects on your opponent's turn. So, um, yeah, that's that's why um, <laughs> that's why um, Nibiru here might make sense if your opponent starts with Sharvara. Uh, you just have to pray they don't have an Arua in hand uh, to Nibiru here uh, because having Arua here will just hurt your end board if your opponent doesn't have Nibiru. Um, so yeah, now you get Nibiru here, one goes to the graveyard, one goes to the deck, you just set special summon Sharvara, banish Yama, and you just go like this, uh, and now you go into the link 3, with these two, you make a cracker, make Yama with those, get the link 2, Griffin, and both traps. And it's exactly the same thing, but now you have Yama as well. So this is how you play uh, around the bureau with uh, your standard Unchained um, lines. Now, uh, these replays are going to be to... Well, basically, when you get in the bureau, you have um, sometimes uh, the option to just make your normal board. 
uh, of uh, Rage, Trap and Caesar instead for decks that don't really uh, care about Griffin. Uh, sometimes making Griffin will be a uh, bad, uh, bad, you know, uh, for the matchup in a, you 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 have. So um, let's show how to do those. So basically, you just set escape, Arua, blah blah. It's the same combo, exactly the same. You get uh, set the trap, search Rama, and now the ace when your opponent can appear here when you get. Yeah, so this is the first moment to get Nibiru, and the best one to Nibiru, usually. So let's get the token, then Sham, Pop Trap, Banish, get Sarama, and spare summon Rakia from the deck. And what you want to do is, you want to activate uh, Sarama and chain Rakia. So Rakia pops Sarama, and then Sarama sets the trap and pops Rakia. Uh, you need to do this like this, if you have already used your effect of Shayama to pop. Uh, so you need to do it that way because if you use Shayama to pop, uh, you can't just uh, activate Sarama and then use Shayama to pop Sarama. So you need to chain Rakia to pop Sarama to the effect of Sarama so that you can destroy both at the same time. So you get the second level 6 and now you get an Abominable. And Abominable start destroys a card, you lift an Biro. And you make rage, and then this to make your Caesar with trap set. Uh, of course, it's not your perfect board because you don't get Yama. Of course, it never it never will be. Uh, you got Nibiru. You don't expect to just get Nibiru and don't don't lose anything at all uh, because of it. Of course, your board is slightly less, but it's same. It's still the same board. Uh, if your opponent gets rid of your rage by destruction, you just get Saram a Sharvara to hand, which is uh, just another disruption because now you can uh, pop escape with her and special summon something from the deck. Uh, uh, or uh, mostly, uh, what you want is um, you want um, as you um, as I would say uh, right here you don't really want escape in my opinion. Right here, you want um, chamber. Uh, I th I set the wrong card. I think here you want chamber if you're going for this board, because now you have one disruption of rage, you have two disruptions on Caesar, uh, and rage can also be two disruptions if you you go into SP. So this can be one or two interruptions. This can be two interruptions. So you have three or four interruptions, and if you have a chamber right here, you can just revive the abominable. That is another. Uh, interruption. So um, it's still a really good board for someone that just got Nibiru. So uh, yeah, I think it's a really cool option. Uh, let's show now with Tour Guide because uh, oh no, sorry, uh, we have the other part. Yeah, we have the other part. So we got uh, to reset that. Well, um, the state. So now we just go Rage, Shama, Pop Rage. Get Sharvara and then Shama pop Sarama, get the second level 6. And if you get Nibiru here, you still have Shama in circulation. You get Sharvara to pop the trap and uh, banish Shama, get the second level 6. And this one is slightly better because now you get uh, Sharvara in rotation as well. Um, and now you get Abominable, and it's the same thing. You just do the second rage, uh, make Caesar. And that's it, basically. Um, it's it, you basically trade the trap for uh, having Sharvara right here. So it's obviously it's not better, not really better. Um, but it's not as bad. It's not as bad. Uh, I think I've made this, uh, this wrong. Yeah, yeah, I made this wrong. You, you're you supposed to end on the trap, because um, you use Sarama. I didn't use... Oh, no, no, this isn't the tour guide uh, compass. Uh, never mind, never mind. This, uh, yeah, this this is what you end off if you get uh, Nibiru later, uh, which is way better to Nibiru later. You get Sharvara in the Xyz, but you lose the trap. Um, and it's still a decent... Um, it's still a, a decent... A decent combo. 
So uh, now going into the tour guidelines. Tour guidelines once again are going to be way better for this. Um, so let's get into tour guide plus escape. Uh, tour guide get rhino. Always the same 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 combo. Get the trap. And if you get Nibiru here, you just get this because now you need Sarama. Pop. Um, and uh, if right now you already use Sham to pop um, a Ruin and get Sarama, what you do is from the graveyard you get Sarama instead, and then from the deck uh, you get um, you get Rakia. So that you can uh, you 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 can still uh, pop Rakia with the Saram effect, and uh, you can chain Rakia, of course, since you have lost the Shyam effect, of course, um, to get both level sixes plus the Abomination seal, like this. You know, um, I just. Uh, yeah, I just showed this way how to do the trap plus uh, thingy Arua. But if you already have used a Shayama to pop Arua, get Sarama, and your opponent Nibiru's you on Sarama, you special summon Rama from the grave and special Rakia from the deck, and do the same thing as I did with Sarama chain link one, Rakia chain link two. Uh, okay, so now you have two sixes and uh, the abominable, you pop, you get Rage, and you get Caesar. And if you get Nibiru later, the advantage of the tour guide is that you're always going to get the trap. Because um, you're now going to Srama, you then make the rage, and you get a chamber right here, pop, get Sharvara, then you go Shayama, pop, get the other Shayama. If your opponent appears you here, you will always keep one trap. Because um, because you already have the trap in um, in the field and one in hand, since it's full combo plus a trap. Uh, so if you get Nibiru here, you just set trap, Shavara, pop, get Shama from the grave, and get Abominable, Abominable pop, make the two, and make the six, and here it's way better. To get Nibiru at the end with Turguide, because now you get Sharvara. So uh, if your opponent, uh, so it's uh, really um, weird sometimes because um, getting Nibiru at the start uh, is gonna be uh, better uh, most times. Um, it's it's always gonna be um, better to Nibiru your opponent at the start unless he's combo and he's gonna do uh, the scissor line after Nibiru so um, I think that the way to go against this deck is if you see Sharvara as a starter you Nibiru at the end uh, because it's almost guaranteed that he won't have the extender to just Nibiru uh, to just play through the Nibiru right there because if they do it early they can still play through Nibiru either way so you can still play with the fact that they don't end on scissor if you Nibiru at the end, if they start with Sharvara, if they don't start with Sharvara, you Nibiru at the start, um, and it's only gonna be uh, better in that way if you are playing, um, if you're doing the full combo and you want to end on the Caesar after. So yeah, um, the only problem with this board is that instead of the Yama, you have a second rage in the graveyard, which isn't the best option. But uh, some decks don't care about Griffin, so this is a great option. You still have Caesar. Rage and Chamber to get back the soul, and uh, of course Sharvara is it is in Caesar, so you know follow up is still good, you know. Uh, but yeah, you can still play really well through Nibiru as you can see from these combos. Um, the only thing that you need to change on your deck lists for that is that you play Triple Chamber. You play Triple Chamber because if you want to end on Escape, you need to start with Chamber. For the two counter combo, um, normally, you know, like if you go do the the two card combo of a Rua plus trap, and your opponent doesn't appear you. If you want to end on escape, you want to start with a chamber, because you pop the one in hand and keep the one that you get from the deck, 
So you need to be able to set from the deck escape if you want to play around the beer. So chamber, I think, is way better to have in your hand for this um, for, uh, right now because of that. Uh, if not, uh, you know, you still play six traps. Uh, at the moment, you need because playing through the beer is a must uh, in these formats. And um, yeah, uh, five is not as good. You need consistency, so six traps is good. Um, you w want to have lot uh, engine. We have five normal summons, two Rakia, three Tour Guide. I gave up on two um, uh, two non-engine slots to focus more on consistency, like the triple gates and all of that. So yeah, this is how the deck looks uh, right now. Um, sometimes your boards going uh, through the bureau can be better if you play uh, Disaster. But I don't think Disaster is really necessary, and you can still do great boards without Disaster through Nibiru. So, yeah. Nibiru is still not a real end trap against this deck. The real end traps that you need to be uh, careful are, are Ash, Fact, Valor, and Imperm. If you get Ash on the traps, it's bad. If you get Impermed on Yama, uh, you most probably don't have Shervarian and to w go through it. And Valor, again, on Shervar or on Yama or something, is still hurts a lot because you don't have Shervar in hand 90% of the time. If you have Shervar in hand, it's super lucky uh, because it's a one off. Or you either searched it with either Prison or Prosperity and then your opponent knows. So. Uh, well, it is what it is. Uh, the deck is just worse playing into Imperms and Veilers, but um, yeah, Nibiru, we don't care. Against this deck, you maximize Ash, Imperm, Veiler, and I like Bell too. Bell is really good, especially against Shayama, because it can negate Shayama, it can negate Yama. Uh, I think Bell is also really good against this deck. So, Ash, Imperm, Valor, and Bell are the traps that I think are the most impactful against this deck. Nibiru doesn't do shit against us if we respect it. And yeah, those were the lines to respect it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like down below if I managed to be helpful. Comment if you have any suggestions or questions about the lines or uh, decklist. And subscribe to never miss any of my future videos. And that's gonna be it. I'm gonna see you guys next time.